Bitcoin continues to struggle with the $48,000 level of resistance. We have been going down for four days already. This might correspond to the one to four candle correction because of the MRI top we just had. However, there are strong signals that might indicate a strong reversal to the upside. This and much more coming your way. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Wednesday, the middle of the week, and it looks a bit red to my taste. The weekly candle so far has been red. We have been going down for four days in a row. However, as compared to the previous weekly candle, which ended up to uh, close on the green, we are not even halfway down from that candle. So it might just be a healthy retracement for the one, two, four candle correction of the MRI top we had a few days ago and we might be headed for a big move to the upside just recently on twitter we could see several tweets about uh, on-chain analysis pointing to 13,000 bitcoin making their way to some wallets that belong to big whales so it's a bit weird that we have been going down for four days but the on-chain analysis is rarely wrong so as you guys know uh, 13,000 Bitcoin being accumulated by whales is also a very, very good signal that we might be heading up. So nothing better than to have a look at the charts and let's see what is happening on the world of uh, levels and candles and charts. So let's see here. Let's start with the weekly chart. So as you guys know, we have been going up for four weeks in a row. But right now, we are having a bit of a retracement this week. Uh, since four days ago, we have been going down four days in a row. However, there is good news here, down here, if you look at the MACD. The MACD is now having the bullish flippening. So we are now having the blue line going above the orange line. And finally, after so, so many weeks, we have a green bar starting down here. So this is good news from MACD. And also the RSI is just going sideways right now, just a bit down, but it's not very, very relevant. Right now, the only thing that worries me a bit is the volume going down while we are going up. As you guys know, this is a bearish divergence. So we might see a bit of retracement, which in fact we are already experiencing for the previous, for the last four days. So right now we have uh, the price action above the 20 week SMA, which is a very, very good sign. And also it could turn out to be support if this retracement continues down to the 44 level or even 42, which I already uh, said several times on Twitter or the Telegram group that we could go to before continuing to the upside. However, on the weekly chart, this looks very, very good. It continues to be one of the charts I like the most. And this is a good sign as long as we don't, uh, as long as the red candle does not close um, below half of the previous candle or even below the opening of the previous candle, which would be much worse because then it would become an engulfing candle that would be a very bearish sign, but as long as that doesn't happen and we find support soon around these levels to continue to the upside, this will be a healthy retracement and actually a very good level for some accumulation. Uh, some people can buy the dip here and will for sure buy the dip at these levels around forty-two to $44,000. Uh, before if they believe of course that the market is still a bull market and they will buy the dip in order to continue riding this move to the upside so regarding the weekly candle what do we have here we have a one to five green count of nine so right now we are i would say in the middle of this leg weekly leg up which could take us to higher levels if this retracement stops around here or finds support around the 20-week SMA. But we will see also there are some trend lines 
uh, on the other charts that I will show you guys today that point to strong levels of support around these levels, around the 44 and 42 level. So right now the weekly chart continues to show me some bullish action. I am not really worried about this retracement that we had here. As you guys know, I've pointed out some, uh, some items that I would like to see um, achieved. Uh, in order for us to consider this not a bull, uh, not a dead cat bounce, but a bull trend to the upside again. So one of them was, of course, that we had to close this candle on the green from 46,000 and a half to 47,000. This candle closed actually around 47,000 and 19 dollars. So that was one of the first items I would like to have checked, and this is checked. The second one is to have this. Uh, red candle here to close the week on the green and for that we need to close at least above $47,021. So let's see if until Sunday evening or uh, Monday early morning for some like me uh, this will close on the green above the $47,000 level. And the other one of course would be to maintain the price action above the 20 week SMA not breaking this SMA to the downside. Of course, we don't need to have all three signals checked. If, for example, I have this one already that is checked, this green candle closed above 46 and a half thousand, and this one here closes on the green, so that means the other one is impossible, of course, but those two signals uh, would be already enough for me to know that this is not a dead cat bounce. However, if this candle closes on the red, and does not break the 20 week SMA to the downside, I continue to believe that we found support on the 20 week SMA and this will not be a dead cat bounce anyway. Even not having this green, uh, this candle closing on the green in a few days from now. So what I'm trying to say is I don't need all three points to be checked as done and achieved. I mean that I, if I have only two of them, for example, if this one is already checked, so this doesn't count, and the other one is not this, not having the 20-week SMA broken to the downside, even if the candle closes on the red, that's enough for me. If we find support here and the next weekly candle continues to go to the upside, for me, this is not a dead cat bounce. This is just a small retracement that we had. We found support on the weekly SMA, and then we continue the leg up in the bull trend. So, guys... Uh, I had this question already before. Of course, I was uh, on the Telegram group. Some people asked me, so this weekly candle is already red and we might close it red. So that means that we don't achieve all three items for us not to consider this a dead cat bounce. No, actually, if we find support on the 20 weekly SMA, that's the second point checked and it's not broken to the downside. So if we find support and it's not broken to the downside, so we need to see the next week's candle, if this continues to go up after, for example, touching the 20-week SMA, that's enough for me. I have two already, two points already checked, uh, not having the third one, which is this week's candle to close on the green, but that's enough for me to consider this not a dead cat bounce and just having a retracement this week to find support, which is very healthy, and then continuing to the upside. So if that happens, for me, these last four weeks are not a dead cat bounce and we are not going to a bear market soon. So continuing with the charts, this was just to answer some, uh, some people that were on my Telegram group, on the FU Money Telegram group, saying that we should have all three. No, we shouldn't. At least if we don't break the 20-week SMA, that's fine. So let's uh, continue here uh, to the chart. Okay, guys, so the weekly chart is done. Uh, let me just, uh, so one of the signs that I mentioned in the intro that I almost forgot to mention here is that this MACD on the weekly chart is now turning green. So that indicates that we might be very, very close to a move to the upside and that this red candle here for this week is just a healthy retracement that we might uh, uh, use to buy the dip. So Take a look at the MACD on the weekly chart. The blue line is crossing the orange line right now. And this week will be, of course, if this continues to signal a move to the upside 
also in conjunction with the fact that we had 13,000 Bitcoin just making their way to some whales' wallets, that might be the leading indicator that we are about to have a strong move to the upside again. But of course, this all needs confirmation, so you guys should be aware of that. So that's it for the weekly uh, chart. I took a bit longer because there were a lot of things to discuss here, not just the previous uh, three signs that I discussed in previous videos, but also the MACD and, of course, the uh, on-chain analysis that was published on Twitter for uh, by different on-chain analysts, some of them really, really good ones and know what they are talking about. So that's enough for the weekly candle. Let's take a look at the daily. And on the daily, I have also some news for you guys. So, of course, we had the MRI top a few days ago, and then we had the one to four candle correction, and now we have the first green candle after four days in the red, and this is a very, very good sign too. We found support very, very close to the 20 period SMA here, the green line you guys see on the chart. I will zoom in for those of you using phones. Here it is, MRI top, textbook, uh, this is a textbook maneuver here, MRI top, one to four candle correction, found support on the 20 period SMA now going up and the only thing stopping us right now is of course the 200 period SMA the purple line here on the chart that we have to cross over to the upper side in order to continue this bullish run so in my opinion we are just about to find the bottom for this retracement we might see still a few more uh, I would not say a lot more candles here for the daily, just going sideways or accumulating, but I bet that we will continue very, very slowly trying to break this 200 period SMA and then going to the upside again. Uh, if we have another day on the red, we might find support again on the 20 week and then 20 week, uh, sorry, on the 20 period SMA and then uh, from there have the final reversal of the price action. But as I said, we might start to go up from here or we might accumulate for some more time, but I believe that we are very, very close to find support around this area and move again a bit to the upper side. If that doesn't happen, guys, I will show you in the last chart, we might still have to go to 42,000 to find support on the previous really, really strong support levels we had before. So. But right now, all looks good to, to, to indicating that this was just a one to four candle correction and we might see a reversal from this point on. Uh, of course, the daily MACD is turning a bit bearish here. The blue line is below the orange, but I consider much more relevant the weekly MACD than the daily MACD. Of course, the daily is also very important, but in terms of relevance for me, uh, the weekly MACD is more important. Of course, all the higher time frames are more important than the lower time frames. And in this case, we have a uh, weekly MACD turning bearish, turning bullish right now, having the first green bar uh, after so many, many weeks of red. So right now we have a slight retracement. This corresponds to the one to four candle correction on the daily chart. So it's normal to have a few red bars here, but we might be seeing the bottom for this retracement, for this short-term retracement before continuation to the upside. So guys, this is very important. If you guys look here, we had an MRI top, then we had a one to four candle correction on the red, which is just almost the same as we had here. So just think about it. We had an MRI top, then just one more candle after that to the upper side, which was a bit strange in my opinion. However, the MRI top indicated the one to four candle correction on the red. We even had a sell signal here, but then we found support on previous levels and continued up to another leg of a bull, a short term, at least bull uh, trend. So we now have another MRI top just five days ago. Uh, and then we had the one to four candle correction. Even better, because here we found support on the 20 period SMA. Here we stopped going down a bit earlier and we did not use the 20 period SMA to uh, finally have the, um, the reversal of the price action to the upside. So in this case, of course, uh, it looks much better because we found support here and exactly while I speak, we continue to go up. We are now just seeing a breakout here and we are going to attempt again 
to cross the 20 period as the 200 period SMA, the purple line. So guys, keep in mind, this might have been the bottom for this retracement uh, around the, let's see, 44,224 might have very well been the bottom for this retracement. And we, as soon as we break the 200 period SMA, we might be uh, just starting a very, very good uptrend again to the upper side on the price action. So this was really, really important, guys. I just wanted to share this with you. I'm just going to share one more chart. And this is the chart I wanted to show you guys. So in case all this uh, optimism that I was uh, uh, talking about during this video, um, if this fails, of course, we still have some levels that we might look at. So right now, and let's see when I zoom in, of course, some people don't see the prices. But right now, we are again trying to cross this trend line, which was very important. This white trend line here comes from the bottom that we had before, around the $29,630 when this big leg up started. So I use this trend line to see when the bulls could lose some strength. And of course, I said, if this white trend line is broken, then the bulls stop uh, being in control. And right now we had a first attempt to break this, but we are now again just above the trend line. So I will say that we have very, very good signs to continue to the upside here and continue to use this uptrend uh, trend line as a support for this leg up. However, if everything else fails, as I said, if this is not the bottom for this retracement, we might be in order to see a bigger retracement to around 42,000 to find support on previous swing highs we had here and here. If this fails and we continue going to the downside, we might still find support on the bearish trend line that comes from the all-time high and the $42,000 to $38,000 level of support. This green rectangle here will act of course, as support and a very, very strong one. We had a very good accumulation here. We also had very good accumulation at these levels. This was resistance before, now turned support. So this is a very important um, possibility that you should also consider. If we didn't see a bottom here and continuation to the upper side, just to try to beat the $48,000 resistance again, we might come down to the forty-two dollars or even $40,000 level as long as we keep above the trend line, this red trend line here, and we find support on the green area. I consider this to be a healthy uh, retracement of the price action in Bitcoin, and probably we could do this, find support, and continue the leg up just to try to break the 48,000 resistance a bit later in time. So guys, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is a very important uh, level that you should consider. The 38,000 to 42,000 is a very, very strong support, as you guys have seen in the past. This is the previous swing high. This is also resistance here that sent the price down. This was resistance here again. And this was resistance here again. And only in February, after being down from January to probably almost uh, of February, so uh, no, at least the first week of February, only then, after one month, we were able to break the 48,000 support, the sorry, the 42,000 support to the upper side of the chart. So right now, this is a very important level you guys should keep in mind. And if Bitcoin goes there, as long as we keep above this red trend line that comes from the all-time high and the previous swing high after that, we are in good shape. I consider that a healthy retracement before we have a new try at the 48,000. So guys, this is what I really wanted to share with you today. Let me just uh, go back here to the full screen. So to summarize everything, we might have seen the bottom here and continuation to the upside, but if that fails, if the retracement continues, it's very, very probable that we will go to the uh, 38,000 to 42,000 level of support. There are also strong signals that we might be on the verge to see a very, very strong move to the upside. So I'm not expecting a bigger retracement than that green level I showed you guys on the last chart there. So everything looks good to have a good continuation of the week. 
And the best thing would be, of course, to close this week on the green and after this small retracement of four days and continue to the upside. But let's wait and see in the next few days how this will evolve. And of course, now I will leave you guys with the wise words as usual. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. And that's it, guys. Uh, let's roll and let's be really careful out there in the markets. I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.